What's up guys, Joe at Momentum Works. Today we're gonna to be talking about Caterpillar C15 Acert turbos. We're gonna be talking about BXS, NXS, MXS, SDP, what makes them different, what's compatible, and what's not. Stay tuned. All right, gang. So I know that we've talked about C15 Acerts in a previous video. Uh, the link to that is in the bottom if you wanna take a look. But based on the kind of questions that I've been getting and people referencing that video, uh, I realized that we should probably go a little bit deeper. Um, on top of that, YouTube's been like a disapproving parent and my last two videos were the worst I've ever done. So let's you know touch on a topic that we know is successful. What we're gonna touch on today are the different Acer turbos there are um, and the different serial numbers. So you've got your BXS, your MXS, your NXS, and your SDP. And the first three of these, they all basically use the same turbo. It's just the SDP, which is a 2008 plus motor, uh, because of emissions uses different turbo chargers. Uh, so what basically is the Acer? Well, as you might be familiar, Caterpillar's 3406 engines ran for a very long time. Uh, you had your 3406 A's, B's, C's, and E's. There is no 3406D, to my surprise. Anyway, 3406E for electronic, you get it. Well, to meet emission standards, Caterpillar had the MBN, which was the bridge engine, so basically it was a 6NZ with emissions, and then they moved into the BXS Acer. So now that we're up to speed here, what exactly was Acer? And Acer stood for, and I'm going to read this, Advanced Combustion Emissions Reduction Technology. Basically, Caterpillar didn't want to use an EGR, so they spent $500 million coming up with other solutions, which was kind of cool. Um, and with that, we're really only going to talk about the turbo portion of that. And the turbo portion of that is that the Caterpillar went from being a single turbo application to a compound turbo application. And guys, these are not twin turbos. Twins mean they're the same. These are compounds, which means there's a high pressure and a low pressure. The high pressure turbo is directly on the manifold and that gets exhaust gas first. And the low pressure turbo is second in the sequence and that gets the exhaust gas after the high pressure. So basically exhaust gas goes through the high pressure, and then it goes through the low pressure and the low pressure turbo is feeding back into the high pressure. So the turbo boost that your low pressure turbo makes gets fed through the compressor the compressor cover of the high pressure, it gets compounded because it's a compound turbo system, then it goes to your charge air cooler. Or with an Acer, it goes to the pre-cooler, then to the charge air cooler. Which brings us to our next point, the pre-cooler. The pre-cooler is a small box, I'm trying to throw a picture of it right, right up here, and this pre-cooler has uh, liquid going through it, Basically, the pre-cooler is charging the boosted air before it goes into the charge air cooler. So it's basically just kind of a, a secondary charge air cooler, but it's liquid cooled. It's air to water instead of air to air, like the one that's on the front of your truck. All right, gang. So we touched on earlier the fact that BXS, MXS, and NXS all use the same turbocharger. So this is the high pressure and this is the low pressure for that series of engines. The only time that there's ever a different turbocharger for that engine serial number sequence series is if you have a 625 horsepower King of the Hill. So you know that these Acerts came in 475s, 550s, everything like that. Turbos are always the same. If you have a 625 King of the Hill motor, the only thing that's different is the compressor cover on your high pressure turbo has slightly different porting on the inlet. The turbo fits the same, so if you have to replace your turbo, you can use the same turbo. The cover is just different. So if anybody says, hey, I want the 625 turbos, the only thing that's different is the cover. The wheel size is the same, everything's the same. So you'll notice that the second set of high and low turbo that I have, high and low, they're very rusty, they're old, these are from the SDP. Now the SDP engine serial sequence is very different from the others. This was the next tier of emissions, and as you're probably familiar, this was the last C15 Acert series produced. The SDP was very heavily emissions regulated. Uh, it had the ARD head, it had a CGI cooler, uh, it had all the emissions thrown at it. Now the one good thing about this truck is that it came with ball bearing chargers. So this high and low pressure turbo are both ball bearing. And while they look similar to the older journal bearing turbos that were on the BXS, the MXS, and the NXS, they're simply not the same. I'm gonna walk you through the differences in these turbos because a lot of guys think, hey, I want those ball bearing chargers on my older truck. And while it can be done, there's changes that have to be made. So let's walk through the differences on what exactly is the difference between these chargers. And if it's something you really wanna do, at least you have the information to go ahead and do that. 
So let's start with the low pressures. On the left-hand side here, we have what comes on the BXS, the MXS, and the NXS Acer. This is a journal bearing Garrett GT55 Turbo. This one specifically is manufactured by Zeki Turbos, but it's an exact copy of the Garrett. On the right-hand side, we also have a Garrett GT55. This is the low pressure for the SDP. Uh, and right off the bat, you're gonna see that there's a lot of differences with these turbos. You can see this inlet is a push style where you would push a hose end onto it. And let's zoom in here a little bit so you can get a better shot. You would just push a hose on and you can see it's got a parb there and you would just use a clamp to clamp it. Whereas on the older model, this is a V-band style. So we get a better shot there. You can see that they are very different. The outlet flange is the same, but the flange where the piping would made up to the front of the turbo is very different. So that's gonna be your first fitment issue. And while we're here, guys, these do have the same size wheel in them. Um, I realize that because of the shadows, this kind of looks funny. Sorry, I'm working with a new tripod here, guys. Um, we'll talk about wheel sizes. These wheels are both identical. They're both an 88 millimeter wheel by 117 overall diameter, but we'll touch base back on that later. The next thing that you notice is gonna be different about these, the mounting flange. So basically this is where the turbo is gonna to mount to the engine block to hold the turbo on. You can see this is perfectly rectangular, whereas this is offset. Now you can even see the outlet. The diameter of this outlet is different from this one. Um, it's very close, I measured it, they're off by a couple millimeters. The last and final difference on these is the outlet flange where it attaches to the downpipe of your exhaust system. You can see the older model Acerts, it's a four bolt flange. And you can see on the newer SDP Acer, it's a V-band flange here. And the reason for that being is that this is where the ARD head attaches for emissions on the SDP, whereas the earlier Acerts did not have the ARD head or that emissions equipment. So it's a regular bolted on downpipe. So now we have the covers off of both low pressure turbos and you can see right off the bat, there is a vast differences between these wheels. While they're the same dimension, they're both 88 inducer by 117 overall dimension. They're very different when it comes to design. This is a 10 blade boreless wheel. And what we have here is a six plus six board wheel. Board just means that uh, there's a hole in it and the shaft comes through with a nut. Whereas boreless means that the nut is integrated into the compressor wheel. Basically this is a six plus six design, which means you have six full blades and you have these six half blades. Whereas this is 10 full blades. And primarily in the performance world, higher compressor wheel blade count normally favors higher RPM. So take that for what you will. But this is more just to demonstrate how different these GT55 turbos really are between the SDP and the earlier Acer engines. All right, guys, so just do a quick wrap up here on the low pressure turbos. Why would someone want this turbo over this turbo? Well, the SDP turbo is ball bearing. So these newer ones are ball bearing, but as we pointed out, they're just not a direct swap. And while the compressor wheel and turbine wheels are the same dimension, I'd imagine that the compressor wheel might have a slightly different profile, which is the shape of the wheel itself. And give me one second, guys, let's pull a picture of that up here. And now when I refer to contour, I'm talking about this line on the compressor wheel. I believe that the contour might be different in these two turbos, even though the size is the same, because when I switched the covers, the wheel was rubbing. So it might just be that this cover is very corroded or the contour of the wheel might be slightly different, which is not gonna make these directly interchangeable without machining the housings. So naturally after the low pressure, let's talk about the high pressure. On the right-hand side here, we have the GT42 from the SDP. And on the left, we have the GT42 from the BXS, MXS, and NXS. These are the same size turbo as far as frame size. They're both GT42, but that's basically where a lot of the similarities stop. Of course, the SDP is ball bearing and the older is journal bearing. The wheel size is different as well. On the SDP, we actually have a 70 millimeter inducer and it's a 94 millimeter overall wheel size. Whereas on the BXS MXS, it's only a 62 millimeter inducer by still a 94 millimeter wheel. So the SDP is eight millimeters larger on the inducer, which is huge. Uh, you'll also notice that the charge air cooler connection where it goes to the pre-cooler is a slip style on the older A-search and it's a V-band style on the SDP, which will definitely present an issue if you're gonna swap these out. Whereas the intake side coming from the low pressure turbo, it's both the same size V-band, so that would be interchangeable. 
Now you will notice here that the exhaust flange where it bolts to the manifold is the same on both turbos. So from that standpoint, they would be interchangeable. If you wanted to put the SDP turbo on your BXS, MXS, or NXS, it would physically bolt up to the manifold, but this flange would be different on the cold side, so you would have to adjust for that. The other differences on this side, we have a 1.28, I'm sorry, we have a, yeah, 1.28 AR on the SDP, whereas we have a 1.44 AR on the MXS, BXS, and NXS. We also have a difference in the turbine wheel sizes. So the older A-certs utilize a 73 by 82 millimeter wheel, whereas the SDP is a 75 by 82. So it's slightly larger on the x there as well. So compressor side and turbine side have a larger inducer on the SDP, which means that the housings wouldn't be compatible unless you milled them. One last thing I wanted to touch on was blade count. Both turbos use a 10-blade compressor wheel and a 12-blade turbine wheel. So they do have similarities in fact of those aspects. So we can all agree right off the bat, these turbos are not simply interchangeable despite the fact that they're both C15 Acer's. The more common turbo to be interchanged is the high pressure turbo. There's been a lot of guys that have taken the high pressure turbo from the SDP and modified them to use them on their BXS, MXS, and NXS engines. So we will say that that's something that can be done. We can sell you a compatible compressor cover that will allow you to do that, or you can feel free to mill your own cover or use the SDP cover with that style flange. While the SDP high pressure is a pretty easy exchange and upgrade for your truck since you only have to work with the compressor cover, the low pressure presents its own issues because of the fact that there's so many differences between the covers. Your best chance here would be to just take the compressor cover and turbine housing from your older Acer and mill it to fit an SDP cartridge, which brings me to my next point. For the SDP turbochargers, there's no new available from Garrett. So you can't just buy a brand new SDP turbo. You can get a remand from CAT or you can get brand new cartridges, but Garrett won't sell complete turbos for the SDP to the aftermarket. Whereas the aftermarket has created their own versions for the older MXS, BXS, and NXS engines. So let's do a quick recap here. So these new turbos that we're looking at, this is for your BXS, your MXS, and your NXS. This is all of your A certs from 04 through 07. These older turbos, these are for the SDP, which is for your 2008, 2009, and 2010 A certs, which is the SDP serial number. A lot of guys like to use the A cert turbo high pressure as an upgrade for their older models, but you'll have to make some modifications. The turbos are not interchangeable. So if you're looking for a direct replacement turbo for your BXS, your MXS, or your NXS, no problem. They come as complete turbos and they're ready to go. If you're looking for a replacement for your SDP, you're gonna have to buy cartridges or a reman. If you'd like to put SDP ball bearing turbos on your BXS, MXS, or NXS, there's gonna be a ton of modifications you're gonna need to do to make it work. So. I hope this was beneficial. If you take nothing else away from this, SDP ball bearing, MXS, BXS, NXS, journal bearing. And I know a zillion people in the comments are going to say, well, what's better? Well, the ball bearing is obviously better from an efficiency standpoint, but getting them to work on your MXS, BXS, or NXS, the amount of work that you put into it is really going to be a marginal gain. So for some people, it'll be worth it, and some people, it won't. Now, if you guys are really interested, we've done some, you know, SDP upgrades for the older trucks where we've milled out housings and made that work. So if you guys really say, hey, we want ball bearing chargers for our MXS, BXS, and NXS, we'll make them. It's not a problem. We'll mill out housings and we'll make them. So if that's something you'd be interested in, leave a comment below or give us a call and we'll see what we can do. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or give us a call. I hope this kind of really touched base on what the difference is in these A-cert turbos as far as sizing, ball bearing, journal bearing, and what's compatible and what's not. Basically, nothing is compatible between these, even though they're all the same frame sizes. Guys, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah to Steven, even though he's not actually Jewish. And uh, see you later.